G'day there, I'm Alan and welcome back to Alan Vale. I want to talk today about sharpening drill bits. Now, when you go to start your first drill bit, always start off with the largest one you can possibly use because um, you've got more control and more understanding of what's going on. Now, I'm dealing with high speed tool steel, HSS, and uh, high speed tool steel, actually any drill, you must never change the colour of the tip because that means you've got it over 250 degrees and you've softened it. <laughs> so uh, if it ever changes colour, you need to know that all of that coloured area needs to be ground back. So if you're ever having trouble with a drill getting blunt, do not persevere with it, sharpen it straight away, otherwise you're going to cause more damage to it if it, say, if it goes yellow and then brown, then blue, that's 300 degrees Celsius, and um, you need to grind right back beyond that. Now, when you're sharpening a high-speed steel drill bit, you must never, ever quench them, because that will make them brittle and they'll snap. So don't get them coloured, because they'll go, they'll go soft. Don't quench them, because they'll snap. Now, other than that, sharpening a drill bit is dead easy. Now, when I was teaching, um, back in my school days, I always got a hacksaw and I cut a 60 degree angle on here. Now you might start off by marking a 60 degree angle on there, that'll make it easier for you. Now the flukes on the drill here, uh, the flukes are uh, double sided, you've got 120 degrees there so that's a 60 degree angle, you tip that over 60 degrees and it's dead easy. All you have to do is stay above centre so you've got some back rake, come around there to that 60 degree angle and you touch that there and just stroke up and that's all there is to it. And the important thing is to get this flat piece in the centre so make sure both sides are the same. So you'll get the 60 degree angle on both sides, is, um, the cutting edge is horizontal, above centre and stroke up and let it cool slowly or cool it down manually. Um, just take it very, very gently and don't let it get hot and, and the, the grindstone will actually keep it cool if you just take a nice light cut. Now the last thing to remember, uh, on Goldshaw Farm I saw Morgan was trying to drill something into steel and it was cold weather and he was having all sorts of trouble. And the reason for that is this little flat part in the middle. Now normally with the drill press, you've got something like this drill press here, um, you'll find that it... Um, the pressure will force that through, but you must use a pilot hole because that pilot hole there covers that little flat spot. You don't have to worry about pressure on that. And the pressure, the flat spot on this one is much, much smaller. And um, that'll actually, the steel that's underneath that flat spot just crushes over and goes away with the shavings. So always remember, if you're drilling a large hole, use a pilot. Make sure the pilot is the same size or slightly larger than that flat spot on the center of the drill. If you make it too large, the drill will wander. So um, that's the size that you want. There's a couple of little tricks. Remember, 60 degrees, get the cutting edge horizontal, above centre, and gently up. And that's all there is to it. And um, go and try a large drill first, see how you go, um, and then after that you can work down to the smaller ones. My eyesight's getting a little bit fuzzy. I have to wait for a really bright day to do my little drill bits. <laughs> but have a lot of fun. And uh, drill bit sharpening is really, really easy. I remember when I started at Teachers College, um, our lecturer got out this broken old drill bit and he'd uh, take a couple of edges off it and say, OK, sharpen that up. And then he'd give it to the next kid, take a couple of edges off and then sharpen it. And the broken drill bit would get down to about that by the time we'd all finished. And the flat spot in the middle, by the way, gets larger as you go back. So you need to have a larger pilot hole as you get down now. The drill bit down here, um, this end is soft, so it doesn't damage your chuck in your drill. So um, as you get lower and lower, you'll find that the drill uh, doesn't keep its edge as well, and you have to use bigger and bigger pilot drills. But you can still use it right down to there. So uh, unless you break a drill bit, then you can just sharpen it or up and your way you go. So have a go. See, that's, that, that's really easy. And have fun.